Hi, I was making this video about the NeoA M590E. Um, bought it from eBay. Uh, I've just done a search and they're going as low as £1.11 plus free delivery. I'll just show you that. Um, there's plenty of videos online to show you how to put these together. They're pretty easy. Um, so, uh, one, one thing um, that uh, I wasn't aware of, maybe I didn't read the data sheet enough or, or whatever, but when I um, powered this on um, and uh, the ground and boot terminals are bridged with solder, so whenever you power it up it automatically boots. If this red LED doesn't come on, uh, chances are you don't have enough signal. So just try moving it and the light may come on. Uh, I certainly had that problem. And um, yeah, I moved it and it worked okay. Um, the Raspberry Pi is powered from a five volt, five amp power supply. Uh, I've used some chunky cables on here because um, this can peak at two amps and uh, apparently so can the GSM module as well. Um, but uh, I've not needed to upgrade the cables on those because it seems to be working okay. Um, the connection from the serial on the Raspberry Pi to the serial on the GSM board is via um, two resistors uh, which are 220 ohms. So let's just show you that. Uh, so there we are, the TX uh, 220 ohm and that goes to the GPIO pins and also the power goes to the GPIO and not the power connector. Um, it's just easier just using one power supply for it all rather than having separate power supplies. Um, what's next? So, um, if we go on to the main monitor and so I have a GitHub repository and in here uh, is the full instructions for setting up the um, serial uh, actually on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so follow these instructions. I may do a video on it at a later date, but uh, yeah, just follow these instructions and it shouldn't go far wrong. And then there's instructions here on installing the flow. So what we'll do, we'll go through that now. So we'll go to flow. And we'll go to, where are we? Now we want raw. And then we do control A, control C, and then go to node red, go into this top right hand corner, import from clipboard, control V, uh, into the current flow, import. And um, what we need to do now, I'm not sure if this is going to work straight off the bat. So we'll deploy it and we'll see if it works. So it says it's connected. We'll just go into the settings there. So it's SO115200. So we'll see if that works as is. What you'll see on the right hand side. No, it won't work as is. You've got to edit the telephone number and you've got to put in the telephone number you want the text messages to go to. Not what I did earlier and I actually put the same phone number in as the um, GSM module and it was just looping and I thought what the heck is going on there. So I need to type in my mobile number. So we double click on there. It's got all the instructions on here and all the settings. Uh, so where it says your number here, just highlight that. Now it has to be on international code. So for me it's plus four four. And then you drop the zero off your mobile number. Um, so it would be plus four four seven. So plus four four.
That's it, that's done. Uh, and what this code does, um, the reason for having it in international format is number one, the GSM module will read that anyway, as is. Secondly, this code will uh, verify that any text messages you send it, it will verify your phone number if, and it will then process. If it doesn't verify your phone number, it will just delete the message and then just ign basically ignore it. Um, so that just saves any problems with um, things like um, your mobile operator sending you any like information. It will just ignore it. So let's do a test and see if that works. So uh, this node here, um, this basically tells you what's happening at whatever time. You could put that to user interface, um, but I haven't done that. Just trying to keep it simple. So send a message, and then it should say message sent successfully. Yes, it did. And then we get a text message. Right, so that's good. Right, so we'll do a test message again. So that's up here. You'll see send a message. Message sent OK. And then it turns up on the phone. Right, what we can also do is we can send the uh, Node Red uh, a message. And what I have here is uh, tap to text, which is. Um, I think the, the the paid version is about 50 pence, um, 50 English pence, which isn't a lot. So all you gotta do is just tap that there, and then it will say that it's sending. And then if I go into my text messages, so let's see, boiler one is sent, and then it will then send me a confirmation message to say, yes, it's done it, and there you have it. So, um, if for instance you get your board rate wrong and it's not reading properly, um, you will be locked out of here. So the only way you can get out of that is just to press that reset and then that sets all the global variables to back to undefined and this will then start right from back from the beginning again. Um, if you do a com check it will send it the AT command, you will see it appear on the right hand side here saying AT OK uh, and then it will then send you it as a text message um, and then this top one here um, if for instance you uh, the code doesn't run all the way through and it's looking for you to be sending a text message but it's not seeing the end um, the end character then you just click this and then that finalizes the character or the text message and then it will send it. Uh, and then that clears then all the um, back to defaults for all the, all the global variables. And that's about it really. Um, where are we now? So the link for the GitHub repository is in the video description below. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will be doing more videos on Node-RED and the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'll also be doing, I'm hoping to write the code for this GSM module uh, for the Arduino as well. Um, but that will come in time. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.